Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. The representative of the Senate President, Senator Bukola Saraki, and the representative of the Honorable Speaker, Right Honorable Yakub Dogara. The Chief Justice of the Federation, Honorable Justice Walter Onoge, and the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Zainab Bukhachawa, the Chief Judge of the Federal Capital Territory, Ishak Belu, all ministers of the Federal Republic here present, ministers from other African countries, heads of ministries, departments, and agencies, commissioners general, heads of delegations from the African Forum of ATAF, the executive secretary of the African Tax Administration Forum, Mr. Logan Watt, uh, the chairman of the Federal Internal Revenue Service of Nigeria, Mr. Babatunde Fowler, uh, panelists, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I feel extremely honored to be here today uh, to give a welcome address at the third ATAF International Conference on Tax in Africa with the theme, Building Strong Domestic Tax Regimes in Africa, Strengthening VAT, PIT, and CIT. And I'm particularly delighted at the presence of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, which shows the seriousness with which this administration takes the issue of taxation. I'd like to congratulate the ATAF Council and the Secretariat in designing the concept of the conference. And I must also thank the Chairman of FIRS for superb coordination. This conference could not have come at a better time, not only for Nigeria, but for Africa. As we've heard many times, there is a link between tax and development. And statistically, there is proof that there is no poor country that has a good tax compliance rate, and there is no rich country that has a low one. There is a definite link between tax and prosperity. And looking back, particularly to Africa, into our history, we have always had tax systems of one sort of, or another, basic, primal in some cases, but we've always had effective systems of collective mobilization of revenue. The problem with um, oil and other commodities is it effectively destroyed some of those systems and we need to rebuild them in order to develop a sustainable and predictable revenue flow to, to drive our development. It's clear we can do it. It is clear with the, the organization of this conference that there is a, and the attendance that there is a collective awakening in Africa that it's time to do things for ourselves. We know that um, development finance bills uh, uh, budgets are constrained. We also know there's a general um, feeling in the international community of putting their own countries first. Now it's time to put Africa first. We have enough resources to drive our development sustainably. Of course, the other side to taxation is responsibility and transparency in the use of public funds. And this administration in particular, and indeed many administrations across Africa, are working very hard to improve transparency, to fight corruption, and to provide value for money for the tax revenues collected. And that gives confidence to the taxpayer to do the right thing. But of course, it's not simply a moral issue. There's also willful tax evasion. And that's something we're working very hard to correct, as the chairman had said, with our VADES program. But I also think it's significant that we have the Chief Justice of CJ, uh, the Chief Justice of the Federation here today, because of course we need that legislative support. There must be penalties, there must be consequences for willful and illegal tax evasion. And I know that this administration, working very closely with the legislature, will work hard to do so. We in Nigeria are committed to improving our tax compliance rate. At 6%, we have one of the lowest tax to GDP ratios in the world, and we are determined to take that on as a project and correct it very, very quickly. And in so doing, we believe that we will unlock growth for Nigeria. I want to, as I close, congratulate the organizers of this conference. I look forward to very robust and rigorous debates at a very granular level on the issues and to be able to develop very implementable plans that we can take away and work with. I 
would like to, to close by again congratulating the organizers of this event. I look forward to a very rigorous three days and, go, and to go away with actionable points. Thank you very much, ATA, for organizing this. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.